But this morning I went and uh, fired up my truck and it didn't, or went to fire up my truck and it wouldn't start. Uh, the uh, batteries were completely dead. I'm airing the tires down right now to make it a little easier to work on. And uh, yeah, my dual batteries, I got dual batteries in this thing. Um, simple upgrade, you don't need that. But anyhow, all there is working, it's not working great, but I'm gonna upgrade from this factory, like 100 amp or whatever it is, to this. This is a factory replacement alternator, but this is a 160 amp alternator and it's a little bigger. So I think it'll bolt up. We're going to find out. Um, but anyhow, we're going to try to, we're going to try to make this guy work on there. While I'm at it, I'm going to replace both belts because I haven't done anything. I haven't had to do anything to this truck hardly at all since I got it. All I've done is like performance upgrades and stuff like that. So anyhow, that's what's on the agenda today. And uh, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so first steps being first, I've already done a lot of it just because there's no point in me showing you all that stuff. If you can't handle this, you can't do some of these upgrades. But anyhow, disconnect your battery or batteries. I already pulled one of them out. I'm going to pull the other one out here in a minute. Took my air intake off. Um, this thing's got a Volant cold air system, jet performance, uh, big mouth throttle body, blah, 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 blah. Anyhow, two bolts right here. Boom, boom. Take those out, those are 15s. You got one electric connection sitting right here on top, and one right there. And that's it. Um, to then, you know, take your belt off, you know. And it's a 16 millimeter wrench for your tensioner over here to loosen up your belt. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. That's done. Okay, now, so here is. The factory alternator, little guy, I think it's like maybe 80 or 100 amps or whatever, I'm not sure. This is a 160 amp alternator, and as you can see, it's obviously larger. But the bolt pattern is the same. So, this is just for a different application. I'm not sure which application it's for, but it's for a different application. All right, here's a little tech tip for you guys uh, putting these, uh, al these alternators in or just changing out your regular alternator. These little washers, these guys slide a little bit, okay? So to make it easier to put your alternator back in, take your pair of pliers or hammer or whatever and just bang this sucker this way just a little bit. Just to give you a little more room makes it a lot easier to put in. Don't worry about it. As soon as you tighten it back up, it'll put pressure right back the way it's supposed to and be in the same place. Save you a lot of headache. Okay guys, so as you can see, bolts fit factory locations, no issues, no changing of the bolts, no none of that. The electrical connection was over here, now it's, or the electrical connection was over here, now it's over here, and no problems. Deek! Perfect. This was over here a little bit, this is going to move over here and connect right up there, no issues. Okay, so it's an easy upgrade, no issues whatsoever, direct bolt on simple easy peasy okay guys just as a follow-up um, I'm actually editing the video right now but uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little follow-up report it's been months since I installed this alternator and I have had zero issues whatsoever with it the factory belt which there'll be a link in the description to a replacement belt um, fit just fine no issues there uh, no issues with the cover or anything going on. It looks absolutely like a factory piece um, One of the things I did I went and put a little bit more uh, Split tubing in kind of clean some of the stuff up a little bit uh, On it just because you know uh, This stuff's old and was brittle and falling apart. So I just wanted to fix that but yeah, I got two brand new all Brand new batteries, the brand new alternator. I've had zero issues with the truck whatsoever ever since doing it. The truck always has like 14.2, 14.5 volts all the time, no matter what I'm doing. No matter if the lights are on, winch is running, anything. Works perfectly. So anyhow, uh, this is a really good upgrade. And if you click on the link below... There will be my Amazon affiliate link to this alternator. This alternator is like $200 at AutoZone, whereas you can get it in my link and it's, I believe, $95. So uh, it's a 
really awesome upgrade that works really well. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one.